British Home Secretary has been speaking to Parliament about the latest case of nerve agent poisoning in southern England. Sajid Javid is demanding answers from Russia after a British couple was poisoned in the same way as a former Russian spy and his daughter in March. The eyes of the world are currently on Russia, not least because of the World Cup. It is now time that the Russian state comes forward and explains exactly what has gone on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me be clear. We do not have a quarrel with the Russian people. Rather, it is the actions of the Russian government that, this, that continue to undermine our security and that of the international community. We will stand up to the actions that threaten our security and the security of our partners. It is completely unacceptable for our people to be either deliberate or accidental targets, or for our streets, our parks, our towns to be dumping grounds for poison. I want to bring in Nick Robertson, live for us in the town where the couple was found, Amesbury, England. Um, Nick, you heard the British Home Secretary there already fingering and implicating Russia. Is there any evidence of Russian involvement at this point? And what's the latest on the investigation? Well, he didn't provide specific evidence of Russia's involvement. What he did say, and we heard this from the police last night, that it was Novichok, critically for the people in Amesbury and Salisbury who are currently affected uh, because several areas are still under current police investigation. Indeed, the property behind me where the two uh, people were taken to hospital from Saturday, we've just seen the police allowing through the barrier behind me, allowing uh, a large van and trailer to go in there. Not clear what that uh, vehicle, equipment, that vehicle, was containing, but that's now gone on to the site where the two were taken most ill before they, before they were removed by ambulance to hospital. So the concern uh, that, that is that is not been laid to rest by what we've heard from the British Home Secretary is that he cannot say with certainty whether or not this was the same batch of Novichok uh, that this latest uh, poisoning uh, is, is, would be directly linked to the previous poisoning. He is a able to say it's Novichok, but he cannot say if it's the same batch. If he was able to say it was the same batch, then that would implicate the main line of what appears to be the main line of investigation at the moment, that somehow something during the cleanup operation after the Scripples were poisoned back in March got left out on the streets. What we're hearing from the British Prime Minister right now, while she's travelling in Germany, meeting with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, she has been talking about her sympathy and support for the victims this time but also support for the community, because the community here deeply concerned that they may still be in danger, that the, that the tidy up, clean up operation back in March may not have been thorough enough. This is how the Prime Minister addressed that. Of course, my thoughts are with the people of Wiltshire uh, following the fact that we have seen two people uh, this week again affected uh, by uh, this nerve agent. To see two more people exposed to the Novichok in the UK is obviously deeply uh, disturbing and the police I know will be leaving no stone unturned in their investigation in relation to what has happened. So those two latest victims remain in critical condition in hospital. The investigation continues. Five sites at the moment under police investigation. And the police have advised anyone who visited any of those five sites um, from late Friday evening until Saturday afternoon to wash their clothes, clean mobile phones, bags, anything that they may have had in their hands, glasses, for example, um, to essentially, uh, as, a, as, a, as a precaution, make sure that, uh, that if they were in those areas, then they have proceeded to make sure that their clothes and possessions have been washed thoroughly. The police are saying that they can't say that there is zero risk, but they are saying that it is only a very small risk at this time to the public. Okay, Nick Robinson with the latest from Amesbury, England. Thank you, Nick.